Part of being a toddler is learning to handle strong emotions. Sometimes kids act out and have tantrums when they don't get what they want or can't say how they feel. You can help your toddler learn to deal with frustration and feel more independent. Toddlers do best when they know what to expect. Stick to consistent schedules for meal and sleep times whenever possible. This keeps them from getting overly tired or hungry. Try to prepare for situations that might be hard for your toddler to handle. If there's a chance you'll be somewhere longer than planned, bring what you need to keep your child happy. Praise good behavior or give a small reward. Avoid overscheduling. Squeezing in too many activities can easily lead to a meltdown. Toddlers love having choices. When you can, offer the choice between two small things, such as choosing which shirt to wear or snack to eat. Remember to give lots of positive attention immediately following good behavior. Praise your child by pointing out exactly what they're doing well, like sharing toys or following your directions. This can make kids more likely to keep up the good work. Set limits in advance about what's okay and what's not okay. Be clear about what happens when a rule is broken. Follow through immediately with the consequence, like taking away a toy or losing a privilege. Spanking is not a good choice because it can increase anger and teach kids that hitting is the way to solve problems. When your toddler does act out, stay calm. Yelling or getting angry only makes things worse. Remind your child what will happen if the behavior continues and then follow through with the consequence. Sometimes simply distracting toddlers is enough to get them back on track. A brief time out is one way to help kids settle down. Time outs should be in a quiet place nearby and last for about one minute per year of age. So two-year-olds would sit for no more than two minutes and three-year-olds for three minutes. When your child is calm, briefly talk about what to do next time and quickly move on. But when the behavior includes kicking, screaming, hitting, and other forms of aggression, this is called a tantrum. It takes patience, but as long as your child isn't in danger of getting hurt or hurting someone else, calmly ignore the behavior until it ends. If needed, move your child to a safe spot to calm down. Sometimes you may need to leave a store or public place while waiting for a tantrum to pass. It's normal for parents to become angry or overwhelmed at times. Find a way to take a break so that you can remain in control of your own emotions. Though it's hard, don't give in to your toddler during a tantrum just to make the behavior stop. This makes tantrums more likely in the future. Most kids have fewer tantrums by age three. But if you're concerned, talk to your doctor. In the meantime, set limits, give lots of positive attention, and continue to guide your little one toward good choices.